Entrance way at the bottom of my basement stairs. I've got the Dolby and THX certified uh, signs, the little platform for my 3D glasses, and a 3D movie on display. Got some movie posters up, and a concession stand with popcorn and snacks. Entering the theater. It's about 11 and a half to 24 feet. You'll first see my uh, projector, which is the Sony VPL325ES True 4K projector with a chief anti-vibration mount. My screen is a 235 to 1 silver ticket screen. It's 115 inches. fits perfectly on this wall. I have velvet curtains flanking the screen so that I can adjust it for whatever content is playing that's not in 235 to 1. Look over here on my wall, you can see where I was drilling in uh, drywall screws to help fix vibration. So all of my speakers are equipped, they're Eclipse Reference Premier speakers. The center is the RP450C. The left and the right is the RP280F and all other speakers, including the surround, surround back, and the four Atmos speakers are the RP160M. For my subwoofers, I have four monolith THX 10 inch subs up front. In the back, I have two monolith 15 subs. I do really like the way the speakers look with the grill off, uh, but since moving to a dedicated room, it is much better to have the speaker grills on and just have everything blacked out. The front wall and ceiling are painted in flat black uh, Sherwin-Williams tricorn black. It blocks the light pretty good. And the rest of the room is painted in, can't recall the gray color. It's just a warm gray color. I didn't want to black out the entire room. The first three panels on each wall to the left and the right handle the first reflections of the front three speakers. In addition, there are two more panels on the ceiling which handle any possible reflections off the ceiling. For the acoustic treatment, I have four real traps, Mondo traps. The remainder of the panels are materials I ordered from Acoustamac and Acoustic Fabric over Owens Corning rigid insulation. These panels are a little bit more decorative, but possibly help diffuse a little bit of the reflections. Those are panels from Amazon. My seats are from Seatcraft. Up front I have three Seatcraft Diamante seats with adjustable headrest. And in the rear I have two Seacraft Serenity seats. The headrest is not adjustable, but they come with a built-in platform. In addition to that, I made an additional platform to ensure that when you're sitting in the back, you have a perfect view of the screen and can also recline without having the seats in the front be in your way. 
going back to my equipment closet. I'm able to have everything back here with my movies. It's a little messy, but my equipment. So for my player, I have the Panasonic UB420. That's what you all you really need with the projector. I have the AC, one of the AC Infinity fans on top of my Marantz AV7705 processor and the Panamax MR5100 for power conditioning, which for the most part, it's really only got the processor and the projector and just the, you know, a few other things. It doesn't have any, the amps are plugged directly into the wall. For my amps, I have two Outlaw 7000Xs. So the processor is an 11 channel processor. So I do have a 7.1.4 system. The additional channels are by amping the front two speakers, the front left and right, although that's completely unnecessary. I just have that extra amps, so I might as well use them. And then there's one final amp channel that is amplifying the three bass shakers that are in the front row of seats. The back row is amplified by a butt kicker LFE amp, which also have two bass shakers. It's my 4K and Blu-ray collection. queued up. This movie has excellent LFE and does a really good job of showcasing what your subs are capable of. The 10 subs up front are very good subs on their own but together it's just it's an insane experience. So the 15s being in the rear it just does a really good job of balancing everything out in the entire room. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the scene and show some basic extension on one of the rear 15s. <laughs> 